welcome to the show with the eternal self Every bit's a banger, best believe he don't mess Do me a favor, drop us up and keep tuning in If you like what you see, go and share with your friends What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Yas episode 8 of the Ahsoka series as we're a day away it's the season finale we're about to be done and there are still a lot of things that need to be answered as opposed to with Thrawn, Balin, Ahsoka, Shin, Ezra and the New Republic and we're going to talk about some of the predictions today and the things that I've either been hearing or a source close to me told me in which is something that I did talk about in a previous video for episode 5 with the prediction on that and it ended up being that my source was right. But without further ado, let's get into it. So in the next episode, it appears that Ezra, with giving up his lightsaber to Sabine, and it was solidified more in episode 7 when we saw he wanted her to use it as opposed to him using it, it ends up being that he actually will be building a brand new lightsaber, and it will be with Huang, which we know he is the one to help young Padawans or Jedi when it comes to building a new lightsaber at least whoever was around him right and we know from the jedi order but it does end up being as well that the lightsaber that he is building is some sort of a mirror and reflection to that of his former master kanan jarus caleb doom and it is the color blue which is pretty significant and full circle and can't wait to see how similar the lightsabers are with his new one coming out in the next episode now, let me know what you think about that one in the comment section. The next thing that we will get to see, or that we might get to see in the next episode, is that Thrawn and how he basically wins. And we know he's very strategic, but it ends up being that he does go back to the galaxy that we've all come to know and love. And Ahsoka and Sabine actually get left behind on Peridia, and Ezra actually escapes to the galaxy with Thrawn somehow. And with all of that, we actually see as well they go to Dathomir to bring back the catacombs which will contain Night Sister bodies to resurrect them there. So this will definitely be something interesting to keep an eye out on and I wonder what Night Sisters will they be? They potentially might be resurrecting the ones that were on the planet of Peridia or could it be that they might be resurrecting some Night Sisters that we know from the Clone Wars? But again, all speculation, we will see what happens with episode 8. Now, at the end of all of this, it appears that we even might get a force ghost of Anakin, kind of how we we saw him in Return of the Jedi, basically giving a smile to Ahsoka the way he did to Luke. And that's kind of like my predictions for episode eight or just overall what I've heard or know from the source close to me, even though I don't know about the Anakin Force Ghost one because I can't see that being a win for Ahsoka or Sabine if they do get left behind on Peridia. That kind of would suck. But I mean, again, I guess it all depends on the content of or the context of how the episode plays out. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Light it up. What is something that you think is going to happen that we still have yet to learn more about? Like, I don't even think the whole thing with Shin and Balin even gets discussed in the next episode, to be quite honest with you guys. I think that that's something that they might end up doing in season two of the Ahsoka series or a continuation of Mandalorian season four with this whole thing. But again, I guess we'll figure it out and see what comes for the next season as we're only an episode away from the finale as we will be getting episode 8 and that's it it's done catch you guys in the comments section this is the eternal sith later guys